This is practical tutorial number six, competency number six, construction of an RF chug. Let's have a look at the competency first itself. Number six is construct an RF chug. The assessor may do this by oral questioning, physically demonstrate or fully describe how an RF choke is constructed of a type used for interference suppression. Simulated construction using a provided ferrite rod or rod and cable or wire. And your performance criteria, the candidate physically simulated the construction of a simple RF choke for interference suppression. Right, an RF choke is just some cable or wire, speaker wire, uh, the cable that goes to your antenna, the power leads that come from your power supply to your radio, a telephone lead, any device that can get RF interference, such as a telephone or the speakers of your computer, this interference can be prevented by winding the speaker leads or the telephone lead or the RF coaxial cable, whatever it is, into a coil around a, a piece of ferrite. The first image shows you a ferrite rod. That's about 150 millimetres long and about 14-15 millimetres diameter. And here we've got some clip-on ferrite different types of ferrite that you can actually put a cable through and then clip them together to make a, a RF, an, an RF choke. The second diagram shows how an RF choke, probably on a telephone lead, can be hooked through this, this device here, this ferrite clamp. There's the ferrite clamp clamped around a telephone lead and that would prevent HF amateur radio transmissions, VHF and above, all of them from getting into an, a telephone circuit because an RF choke chokes or stops radio frequencies and the audio frequencies of the telephone uh, are passed through unaffected. This is the more common type of RF choke that you're going to come across in amateur radio. That is simply the ferrite rod that we saw earlier and here we're winding speaker cable onto the ferrite rod and holding it in place with some cable ties. That's all you need to do to demonstrate this element of competency. You do not have to answer applications, things about the applications of an RF choke. Your uh, task is to simply demonstrate that you know how to make an RF choke. Now, if I was making this RF choke I'd probably wind it more of it on the rod. I'll tell you where I've got RF chokes in my station. I've got one on my red and black power supply leads. I've got one on my computer speaker uh, speaker leads. Uh, there's uh, one on my all of my cables that leave my station have an RF choke wound on them, and that's just to prevent RF interference in my station, and uh, and basically it's to prevent RF interference to myself because without those chokes I'll get it. It's a very very good means of interference suppression but for your assessment the candidate physically simulated the construction of a simple RF choke for interference suppression. So if you're able to wind any sort of cable around a ferrite rod and hold it in place you will pass this competency. You do not have to answer questions about practical applications of an RF choke. That's it for competency six. Hope you're doing well. This is Ron VK2DQ for the Radio and Electronics School.